We've only done 10,000 damage on this guy. Oh well. Rip us! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Here we go, we are about to jump onto this warp platform and warp away to the third seal? Is this our third seal or is this our fourth? Oh, this is our fourth! This is the last seal, guys. After that, we are done with releasing these seals and we can continue on with our journey of regeneration. Phew! Man, I'm tired. That's because you're always overexcited in the beginning. It's mana! Powerful mana is coming out! Alright, so just like always, we're going to have Colette on our team. I'm thinking that we're for this battle anyway, we're going to remove Sheena. Because I I just like before, I really want to keep Kratos and Rain on our team during battles like this. Now that I think about it, the, the battle that we had with Kavar two episodes ago, it kinda shows me really just how weak we are without Rain. Like I don't really want to put our team down, but did you guys see the last episode with Kavar? I mean, come on. Without rain, we were kind of at a huge loss. Oh man. You know what I should have done? It would have been nice if I went ahead and got a magic lens so that I could use it on this guy. Or you know what? No, forget that. I forgot that rain does have inspect magic, so we can do that on this Uberus. Let's call it a Uberus. I I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Funny name nonetheless, but Uberus. How long does it take her to, to cast inspect magic? Not that long. What, what move is that? What kind of move is that? I don't know what that element was. I, I'm guessing that's dark, but none of us have dark moves. I mean, we're kind of good guys, so... Not, not, not to say that all characters that have dark elemental moves are bad, but you, you get it. I mean, Rain has Photon, but not, not Dark Sphere. If you guys would remember, the dark parallel of Photon is Dark Sphere, which is what, what, what was that name? Kilia? That, that annoying little girl named Kilia, that really evil girl Kilia, by the way. She had Dark Sphere. I'm thinking that... Hmm... I feel like we should give Colette an orange gel. We've got four more, so why not? Just so that she is able to cast all of these different spells from a distance. Oh man, that last attack! That last attack that called these ghost horses or whatever really did a number on Kratos. But oh wow, now he's back to 1000 plus HP. Sadly though, I am a goner. Oh man, and we've only got one life bottle. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that I had to go back to Asgard to buy those things. But you know what, it's okay. For now, what I'm going to do is I am going to wait for one of those guys to cast magic on me. And I'm gonna back up a little bit for a while. Um, oh, so those those ghost horses, yeah, they're, they're kind of scary and all, but oh, man. I think that's it. I think that's the end of this battle. We've lost, because Lloyd is gone, but I may as well... I may as well keep the battle going. I, I don't want to give up quite yet. Because there's still Kratos, Colette, and Rain. And I think that we can still do a good number of... A good amount of damage on this guy, even without Lloyd. Even though I, I right now I really miss Lloyd so much. Poor Lloyd. He's really missing out on the fun. Um, oh, what's funny is that in the last episode I was saying that it wouldn't matter what, what arts I equipped for Kratos. Because I wouldn't be playing as him. And what do you know? I'm playing as him. So let's do first aid on myself, because it looks like he's going for rain, so it gives me some time to, I guess, go ahead and use first aid on myself. And rain also used first aid on me, so that gives me even more HP. Oh man, I wasn't quick enough to the guard. Oh wow, what's this? Light spear, wow. Whoa, take a look at that. If you pause at just the right time, everyone remains frozen except for these ghost unicorn here. They're not just regular ghost horses, they're ghost unicorns. So that makes them even more interesting, with pink eyelashes nonetheless. Um, so... You know what, we've got one more melange gel, but considering that I am really about to die, that that ghost unicorn is, is aiming at me. So, or, or not. Sorry. Oh man, she, she... It was aiming at Rain, our, our other healer! Oh, uh, we're done for. We may as well try to use a unison attack, right? See what damage we can get on this guy. Fireball, Ray Thrust, I mean, that's cool, but it's... Oh man, it's not enough. We've only done 10,000 damage on this guy. Oh well. Rip us! May as well try to heal, right? Ah! Guard, guard. There you go. Why are you not using first aid? What is first aid? Is it not... Oh, it's down circle. My bad. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! <laughs> that... What? Such luck. 
This, that would have, really, that would have killed me. Okay, I may have just died, but that last attack where he, where he lifted himself up into the air and was about to crush me with his hooves, that would have killed me while I was doing first aid, but for some reason or another, he missed. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good stroke of luck. Well, personally, I don't believe in luck, but still. Honestly, that, that enemy battle, I don't feel like it will be that hard if we've got the proper equipment at hand. So I will just go ahead and quickly go to Asgard and I will meet you guys back here at the Tower of Mana. I wonder what angels really are exactly. I don't know, but the way things are now, Colette is suffering too much. No, it's okay, I'm fine. After all, the whole reason I was born was to become an angel and save the world. No! You were born to live your own life, right? <laughs> yeah. Just a little skit that I wanted to show you guys. I decided to not only stock up on items, but stay at the inn, just so that we are fully prepared to take on that Uberus. So yes, I will see you guys back at the Tower of Mana. Alright, Uberus, you are going down. So, I know that we do have- oh. Okay, never mind. I so magic lenses completely slipped my mind, but thankfully we've got inspect magic anyway, so it's not like it really matters. So yes, now we are fully stocked. We stopped buying in. We are now ready to face you, Uberus. The last battle that we had with you was just a fluke, and com ignore completely that I was just attacking the air behind me. Th that's completely nothing. But yeah. This, this guy looks super interesting, like, I actually really like his design here. He's, yeah, he's a giant horse, sure, but he's got, like, these glowing rings around his feet. They're kind of like halos, and then his, his tail is all spiked, and then he's got, like, this, it kind of looks like a pink helmet on his head, but I don't know. And he, he's kind of got, like, different color fur. Well, it's not really something I should be talking about too much during this battle, but really, there's not much to talk about strategy-wise. He just kind of go for him I guess you just kind of keep keep attacking him but um since there's since there aren't really many you know many enemies to fight here there's only one Uberus no mini enemies or anything so but yeah I'm not I'm not gonna get cocky I, I did kind of get cocky during the Kavar battle so I'll try to do that a lot less in these episodes be cocky speaking of I need to spend a little bit more time leveling I haven't really done that I think that like I've been this is one recording session, okay? I've recorded like, I think this is my sixth episode today. So, yeah, during those, during this whole recording session, I didn't really spend much time fighting minor enemies at all. So, yeah, leveling is definitely something that I should get to eventually, but maybe after this. Of course, not exactly something I'll show off on, uh, on, I guess, on the video, but, um, wait. I thought that... I, I, Rain, I told you to use Inspect Magic. Why did you not use Inspect Magic? That's disobedience. Are you, are you planning to rebel against me? Is that, is that what's going on here, Rain? Okay, so right now he's at 16,000 HP. I thought that we had done a little bit more, but I feel like right now I am mainly the one doing the damage, doing the attacking, and the ones at the back are mainly being support, which I do appreciate. Oh, uh, speaking of support, Rain needs a bit of that. Let's go ahead and let her use one of the apple gels so that she so that she doesn't have to sit through the casting time. Okay. After Okay, yeah, after they do first aid, I'm going to go ahead and use a unison attack. Oh man. Right when I was about to use it too. And then beast or not. No, I'm out of TP. Okay, let's just jump straight into the unison attack with a sonic sword ring, ray thrust photon, and then the anticlimactic demon fang demon fang of course. You can't have a proper unison attack without that anticlimactic demon fang, right? So let us- no, not life bottle. I meant- ba, 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 I meant an apple gel. I kind of need an apple gel here. And then right after that, we're going to- we're going to ask Rain to heal Colette as well, because poor Colette. 224 HP, that's not enough to fight an enemy like this. Yeah, this guy is actually- oh wow, this guy is actually pretty strong. That is our first death, I believe, or- no, it's our second death here, considering we've got nine life bottles. And whenever I buy life bottles, I like to keep it at an even number, or 15. Either- either 5, 10, or 15. That's- that's how I like to buy my items. I don't- I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm- I'm kind of like that, I noticed. When it comes to numbers and stuff, or 
values. Like, guys, even in the car, when I'm listening to music or the radio or whatever, when I raise the volume, I like setting the number, the, the, the volume level to an even number or something that's divisible by five. Someone tell me that I'm not the only one like that. Please tell me I'm not the only one like that. There's gotta be someone else out there who thinks that way. Sure, it may be weird, but you know, that's, that's just me. There we go, Beast. Stunning him there. Although he's going to have some invincibility frames. Not invincibility frames, I mean like frames where you can't stun him, so. You gotta be careful when an enemy is getting up from a stun like that. Uh oh. Whoa, he was just about to use his Ghost Unicorn attack and take out both Kratos and I. I feel like his attack there is powerful enough to take out both Kratos and I in one hit. So, oh man. Oh man, we're... This is cutting it kind of close. He's about to die too, so I... You know, with any battle, I don't want to have to do this again. Kratos! Again! He, he missed! It's the funniest thing when he misses. I don't know why he does, but he, he misses. Oh, wow. Okay, that time I was running away, so he's a, he has an excuse for missing. Let us, mm, instead of bringing Colette back to life right away, let me restore Kratos a little bit. I feel like he'll need some of that. Or actually, I, I made the wrong move. I should have given that to Rain. Those, those ghost unicorns were clearly targeted at her. But because we need, we need a healer right now, let's go ahead and bring Rain back to life before bringing Colette back to life. And then, I think that I want to use an orange gel on myself. So that I can go ahead and continue doing special attacks against this guy. And I think now is a good time to bring Colette back to life. I mean, she is a good distance away from Uberus. It's not like he can attack her right away. And he's only got 1,500 HP left, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. That Force Ray is... That's awesome, that Force Ray. That's something to behold. I mean, if we weren't fighting for our lives, I would really be in awe right now. But I'm, I'm not... I'm actually more annoyed that you would use something like that on us. Come on, Uberus. But... All of us leveled up, Kratos discovered a compound EX skill. We lost 4.24 grade. I feel like that's kind of becoming kind of becoming a habit of us, habit of ours losing grade. Oh, I'm surprised that Kratos was the only one that learned a compound EX skill. Yes, before we did battle, I I equipped those EX gems level 2 to Lloyd and Kratos. So I was kind of hoping that Lloyd will also discover a compound EX skill, but that's okay. We'll take a look at what that compound EX skill is for Kratos right after this scene here. Chosen of Regeneration, you have done well in reaching this far. Now, offer your prayers at the altar. Yes! O Goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. I think, I think Remiel is having some technical difficulties in the background here. Who is this? Where is Asuka? Whoa, it talked! Without Asuka, I cannot do anything. I cannot form a pact or a vow. Please, find Asuka in order to restore my power. That's, that's kind of new. Nothing like that's ever happened before. Your journey has been long. You have done well to reach this far, Colette, the Chosen One. Thank you, Lord Remiel. Let us grant you our blessing. Thank you. You have taken another step to closer, step closer to becoming an angel, yet you seem anxious. Ah, no, I'm, I'm very happy. Hmm? Now, Chosen One, your journey is finally drawing to a close. It is time for you to rejoice! The path to the Tower of Salvation is open! 
head to the Tower of Salvation and offer your prayers of regeneration. Then you will be able to climb the stairway of heaven. The Tower of Salvation? The world regeneration is finally going to take place. Is regeneration really going to happen? I shall do as you instruct, Lord Remiel. I shall await you at the final seal, Colette, my daughter. There you will become an angel like me. The end is finally in sight. Let's head to the Tower of Salvation. Colette, are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. Dang it! Colette learned sacrifice. Man, the probably the most ter one of the most terrifying moves that Co that Colette can learn is sacrifice, and we learn it at the very last seal that we released. Oh man, but I am happy that our journey of regeneration is about to come to a close, but we can't help but be a little bit concerned about Colette and her well-being. But for the meantime, we're going to have to trust Remiel when he says that we have to head to the Tower of Salvation. But I think that actually this would be a good place to stop the episode for today. We didn't really do all that much. We did fight Uberus, that was pretty cool. We, we, we fought him twice. The first one where we lost, and then, yeah, but I don't know. I feel like this would be a good place to stop the episode. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do just that. Thank you guys once again, as always, for tuning in and watching this episode in its entirety. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to watch. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like as it really helps support the channel. And hey, if you enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so that you can be notified of when the next episode of Tales of Symphonia Chronicles goes live. I will see you guys in the next exciting episode of Tales of Symphonia. But until then, you guys take care. Mm -hmm.